Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu children. Here we come with another story of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a prophet of Allah. Here we go. The extraordinary experience which took place in the cave of Hira had opened a new era for this world. Isn't that amazing? This was not a big cave or a small cave, but it looked like a tiny space within a mountain top. This place had slabs of rugged rocks layered on top of each other, marking the cave's entrance. There was hardly enough space for a single person to sit. However, Ghadihira was situated on such a topmost setting that it got the overview of the entire city of Mecca, especially the square beautiful Kaaba could be seen from here quite perfectly. This shows our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was an active person who could walk up and down these steep slopes. Hmm, that means he had very good health, mashallah. After Muhammad وسلم's first experience of revelation, there had come an interval, a gap, and nothing more happened for many, many days. Though Muhammad وسلم, had been frightened with that experience, he still looked forward to another amazing revelation descending from above. But nothing else happened. All was too quiet. Muhammad وسلم, felt bad. Why was the angel not coming? Why was there no Quran coming? This upset Muhammad وسلم, a lot. He would look around the mountains in desperation and did not know what to do. But he could not make it happen. Revelations can only take place if and when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would will. What a truthful, honest man he was indeed. One day, as Muhammad sallallahu was walking down the hilly mountain slopes, descending into the valley, that he felt a voice call him by his name. Muhammad, you are the prophet of Allah and I am Jibreel. He looked in front and looked behind but could not see anyone. Then his glance followed upwards and he saw the angel on the horizon of the sky filling the entire sky with his wings. Muhammad وسلم, again was affected with awe, gazing in respect, in fear and in wonder. He bowed towards the earth and he hurried home to his wife Khadija, again asking her to cover him. Khadija put a blanket around him and sprinkled water over him. So Muhammad وسلم, was declared a prophet of Allah. This was the second revelation of the Quran and a few verses of Surah Mudassar were recited. Ya ayyuhal muddathir, o you who covers himself with a garment, arise and warn and your Lord glorify and your clothing purify and uncleanliness avoid and do not confer favor to acquire more but for your Lord be patient this now meant that Muhammad وسلم, was not an ordinary man. He had always been honest, truthful, well-mannered, a supporter of the weak, friendly and kind. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew that and he had decided to announce to him his prophethood. He was going to be the last prophet to the entire mankind and no one would come after him. 
He was now on a mission. He was a messenger too. He, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, would give Allah subhanahu wa taala's message to all the people of the world. Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was trusted from Allah with two tasks. The first task was to arise and warn, and the second task was to demonstrate by following the commands of Allah subhanahu wa taala through his obedience. How? By acting as a model for others to follow. This surah was a special package of how to become a highly successful person in this world. The steps to follow showed tips. Tips like number one, worship Allah only and only. Number two, keep your clothes clean and manners great, as scholars help us to understand these verses. Number three, to avoid following non-Muslim customs. Number four, after doing something good, not to want a reward immediately. Number five, lastly, to show patience in our behavior as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appreciates it. Do you know what patience is? It is the capacity to accept calmly without becoming annoyed at any difficulty in life so as to make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy with us. These were nice tips. I would like to write them down for myself. Other revelations started coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through Jibreel alayhi salam too. Sometimes like the ringing of a bell, which was the hardest for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sometimes the angel came to him in form of a man and talked to him and Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would memorize whatever he was told. Sometimes the revelations Weight could be felt as Ramasala was sitting on a camel back and the camel started sinking. Or the revelations caused Muhammad to sweat even if it was a cold day. These revelations became parts of the Quran and we recite them till today, learning them and understanding their meaning. To have a successful life, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to follow the commands it brings and value the message it brings. Subhanallah. Till next time, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.